Hi, I'm Ted Olson. I am a Badger. I graduated from Snow College in 1969, and it was one of the greatest experiences of my life. One of the things that is unique about Snow College, I think that many students find when they come here, is how personable the faculty is with the students. That is not the case everywhere you go. In fact, I enjoyed my time here because I had some of the finest minds and they became my friends. What a joy it was to be able to be hired again, come back and join them as a faculty member, which I have done for 42 years in mathematics and physics. I'd like you to know something about the things that uh, we were at the time we were here at Snow College. There were only about a thousand students by the time I graduated, but you know what? We all kind of became family, and it didn't matter what school we transferred to, we had a whole bunch of friends the first day we walked on campus, much different than what happens at the other universities in the state. We were already friends, and we studied together, we played together, and we worked together. Now this tree that I'm standing in front of was kind of a unique tree back in those days. This was before the time of the bell tower, before the times of a lot of the buildings that you see on campus today. This tree was christened and called the Bullock Tree. Now the reason why it was called that is we had a student here by the name of Alan Bullock my freshman year. And uh, the gal that he was dating, he proposed to underneath this tree and it became kind of famous because there were many other engagements that ensued and they ensued at the same time or within a very short time afterwards of Alan Bullock's engagement and the theory became known that this is the Bullock tree and if the gal stood underneath that tree when the question was popped there was no way that she could say no. It was a guaranteed response. Well, it worked so well, there was one student who was engaged to two girls at the same time, both of which had stood under the Bullock tree. I don't know how long it was before each of those gals discovered the thing that they were facing, but uh, it was kind of humorous and fun. And and it was a big item for chatter among all the students uh, around campus at that time. But one of the things I'd like to mention here is how important it is that uh, you have that personalized atmosphere of learning. It didn't take me very long as a faculty member here at Snow College to realize that work ethic trumps smarts being willing to dive in and work hard seemed to be the factor that made students much more successful after leaving Snow College than those who the learning became kind of easy for them. And so as a faculty member, I always tried to perpetuate this uh, feeling of learning by having study groups and, and coming in and visiting informally with students as they were studying. And in that time period, I found out that the students that were engaged heavily and had a good work ethic, they were the ones that were successful and received the best job offers in engineering and science. Another thing was, I played in the stage bands here. I played the trumpet. I had a music scholarship even though I was in mathematics. What a great opportunity that was. We played dances everywhere. We had a good time together. And you know what? I learned something about music of generations gone by. I think we could still learn many things today from the generations that have preceded us. I am one of those generations that preceded you and hope that you would carry on the traditions of Snow College.